بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم محمد ہوں صلی اللہ رسول الخلیف اما بات سے ایڈوائز یو گائز بٹ مذاکرہ از امپورٹنٹ ان شاء اللہ مذاکرہ بینیفٹ میل بینیفٹ ایوری بڑی ان شاء اللہ تو الحمد للہ دا فرسٹ تھنگ ہیو ٹو ڈو از شکر ٹو اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی ان اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی ہیز گیون اس ایبیلٹی دا توفیق اور نو ایون وی ہیو ان توفیق ہیز چوزن اس وی ہیو انی اختیار لا حول ولا قوت الا بالله ان او بی ہاف ٹو دو دا خدمہ اور the Quran either directly or indirectly is a very great ni'mah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and as much shukr as we can do is, is less because if you look at it like our whole day those which are the whole day is in ibadah you know that ibadah like direct ibadah and then we have to go to work so you know that's also ibadah but the whole day our morning, our evening, our eating, our sleeping, everything is just in Qur'an, Hadith or the alat of Qur'an, Hadith so it's such a big ni'mah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and how much ever shukr we do is less you know, so many people are much more talented than us, more pious than us some of the asbab are not there so if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us the ability to uh, chosen us to teach whatever form that's a great, great ni'mah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you have to have shukr lisanan and shukr amalan and for shukr amalan this is one of the reasons we have this mudhakara that we make sure that we the mudhakara of how we sh- should fulfill this amana uh, in the best possible way so that make sure we're not ungrateful in our qawl our fa'il whilst we're teaching and uh, it's such a great ni'mah I think mana yaqumna nudu rahmatullah like somebody asked him that has it have a shubah I have a doubt it's got a question Now, will we get reward for teaching? Because we take wages. So when we take wages, uh, as if we are, you know, it's not really full in teaching. So, Mala Yaqum Nadot, Rahmatullah Ali. He replied that, Aapke bade hoste ki baat hai. That you have very high ambitions. That you'll be rewarded for teaching. My, my shubha and my shak and my waswasa is that will we not be punished for our teaching? Because we're not fulfilling the haqq of the Qur'an, the haqq of the hadith. So the huquq and amana is very, very great and very, very severe. And along with that then, you also have to look, if you just look, you know, students come from different backgrounds and the parents send their children with lots of hope. One student, like, if you look, different variations of students, some students in America wake up so early in the morning. So somebody wakes up early in the morning, sacrificing their time, then it's our wajib and our responsibility that we fulfill their duty. Some people um, travel, one guy can travel every day by train. So you can travel by, from the city, by train, come in here, get the bike, come to Merdisa, and then go back home. So very, it's very expensive. And the online options are available because they're out of Leicester. But the parents said, no, I want to come online to benefit, on, on site to benefit. So this, that thought alone should put us in that, you know, uh, you know this is a, a big amana. If that person comes here and either you not know, fulfill his academic, his ilmi zarura, and his ilmi zarura, and his tarbiyati zarura, and in the Allah we mu'akhaf. And even, you know, like, even a person of muru'ah, we think, how can I show my face to that person's father? Uh, you know, he sent his child here with such hope. Some people, fees is heavy. Uh, they have two children, they have one child, and they pay fees, like, everybody's not, um, some people find it difficult. So despite that, they're working, some single mothers, some people don't have the ends, they're struggling to, and they're still paying their fees. So it's a very, very big amana that we have to fulfill. So it's a great response, it's a big honor. And with every honor comes responsibility. So if you have this in mind throughout the whole year, don't keep, keep this in mind, that's a big amana. And accordingly, then we'll be able to uh, work. If you just like, um, I'm finished now, I'm so I can do something. Or I get a side pocket money. Or mom, dad says, just go do something, kuch karo. And that's why you're doing it, or it doesn't look good, or I've got nothing to do, I save up a bit of money. If that's your uh, ambition, and that's just what your, the th- your, your line of thought, then it's a very, very low line of thought. And that will not help you fulfill the amana. If you have this thought, this high aspiration, this high thinking, then inshallah it will become easy to fulfill this amana. So that's the first thing.